What's up, wise guys? Yeah, that's right. I called you wise guys. Do you know why I called you all wise guys? I did that because each week we've been learning about Solomon and how God blessed him. Learning from the Bible is the best source and that makes you wise. Today, we're gonna learn about a temple that Solomon built for God. His reign over Israel was different from his father's reign. Unlike David and the kings before him, Solomon was not at war while he was king. This gave him time to accomplish lots of good things for his kingdom. Solomon is known for being very wealthy and wise, but he also did something that was huge for God's people. He built the temple. Let's say today's bottom line, build it for God, on the count of three. One, two, three. Build it for God. What's a temple, you say? A temple is a building devoted to the worship of a God. Even today, there are all sorts of temples for all sorts of gods all over the world. Solomon was building the temple for the one true God, our God, God. Solomon's father, King David, had begun preparing and planning to build the temple but wasn't able to complete the job. But he had been collecting and saving lots and lots of gold, silver, and precious jewels. God also told David that his son, Solomon, would be the one to build the temple. Let's say today's bottom line, build it for God, on the count of three. One, two, three. Build it for God. Because David had done a lot of the collecting of materials, Solomon picked up where his dad left off and built God's temple. The temple was an amazing sight, but it was a ton of work. It is believed he had collected about seven and a half million pounds of gold and about 75 million pounds of silver. David had collected so much bronze and iron, it could not even be weighed. It took him years and years to gather all of the rest of the materials to build the temple and to finish building it. Solomon had supplies coming in from all over the place. He found the best wood for the floors, ceiling, and walls. Every stone had to be perfectly carved. And get this, all the wood and stone in the temple was covered with gold. It had to have been a magnificent sight. Solomon built the temple to be a lot like the tabernacle only it was twice the size. When the Ark of the Covenant was placed inside, everyone celebrated and worshiped God by playing instruments and singing. God's presence showed up in the form of a cloud and filled the temple. Everyone knew that God approved of his new dwelling place. Let's say today's bottom line one last time, build it for God on the count of three. One, two, three. Build it for God. Solomon then dedicated the temple to God by making sacrifices and saying a beautiful, heartfelt prayer. When he finished praying, God sent fire down from heaven and it consumed the sacrifices. What an amazing day for God's people and for King Solomon who worked so hard and so long to build the temple for God's glory. It's been great learning about Solomon building the temple for God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Whatever you build or you do in this life, make sure it brings glory to God, just like Solomon's temple did. See you next time.